Hello, everybody. You know the dealio. Wow, I didn't mean to yell that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that hurt your ears. Let me know how I sound and if the audio sounds good and how your day is going and what the capital of uh, Thailand is. Just because I, just inform information that I need to know. Also, vote in the comments for what color you want our seahorse to be today. I'm going to be on in just a second. I first, you know the dealio. I need to get this energy out of this cat. So we're going to play with the cat for a little bit, and then we'll get going. See you on in a sec. Let me know how the audio is, though. You're both deciding to be a bum today. Oh, there he goes. Good catch, good catch. What we're looking for. Give it. Okay, bud. You ready? You look ready. <laughs> what was that? A little panic attack?
Okie dokie, Artichoke. You ready? Rock and roll? Okay, bud. You chill there, and I'll handle the rest. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Today, for me, is very chill. I'm very, like, chilling today. I got my coffee, of course. And, I mean, maybe it's a little bit that I'm sleepy, but I'm really, it's not really that I'm that sleepy. I'm just feeling chill, and I hope you are too. And, today we got a pretty fun live stream for us. So, today, well, gosh, there's so much to talk about. Okay, first, let's talk about what we're doing today. Then we'll talk about how you can support this channel, all that stuff. Then we'll just get crocheting and hanging out with the chat. We'll talk about the giveaway. We'll say hi to Drooby Zoo. Hey, Drooby Zoo in the chat. How you doing, my dude? Uh, and yeah, maybe we'll talk about our secret collaboration pattern a little bit too. Okay, so first, let's talk about what we're doing today. Today, we are going to be crocheting a seahorse. This is a pattern on the Club Crochet Library for our new seasonal crochet kit, Under the Sea. And today we're gonna be making, yeah, just a fun seahorse. We're probably gonna be adding a hat to it because doy. Um, I'm personally inclined to do a cowboy hat, but suggestions are 100% welcomed in the chat. So go ahead and let me know if you have any suggestions for the kinds of hats that we're going to choose. Um, and while you're down there, vote on what kind of color you want our main color to be because today uh, it's gonna be up to you how we make this. So you can vote now, we're voting between pink, purple, cyan, and teal for the main color. Uh, and then we'll do another vote for the ears and the back uh, fin as well. So that way we can do it in a little, like even more customized so we can be different colors. Um, also today, there is a brand new pattern. Oh, I had it sitting up like so well. It was very difficult to balance. There we go. Today, we also have a brand new pattern for a, a new whale. Um, this one's pretty similar to the last one, our basic blue whale, but we're adding a horn to it. So if you want to learn how to make a narwhal, the new pattern is out now on the website. You can find it at just clubcrochet.com slash whale. And uh, I did a special video tutorial for this one because this video, this pattern is very, very similar to the main whale pattern. I tried to do something weird where I did like a, like a, uh, uh, a compact, video tutorial where it's like way way shorter because this video tutorial goes into extreme detail as if you've never crocheted before in your life whereas the video for the narwhal i tried to make it a little bit quicker for those who already know how to crochet but still want to use a video as a tutorial so it's less it's only like 20 minutes instead of like the hour 30 that it takes for this regular video because i go into such detail for the main one um so i'm very curious to see what you think about that if you want to check out the new narwhal pattern you can find it at just clubcrochet.com slash narwhal clubcrochet.com slash whale or in the um in the uh season two's like home page that i built for it which you can find in the description um or right here clubcrochet.com slash under the sea that's also where you can find our uh our pattern for today's seahorse okay so there's the dealio as far as patterns go sit stay oh bad boy I'll never forgive you. Okay, well, um, what else do we need? I just realized I don't have my scissors. Where did I put my scissors? I found them, they're right here. Okay, so for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm gonna be working out of, of our seasonal crochet kit under the sea, which is out now and available in the description. Um, in this kit, you get all the materials to make all the projects from the season, and there are so many, including a mystery pattern from Mr. Drewby Zoo, who's in the chat right now. Hi, say everybody say hi, Drew. Hi, Drew. Okay, so for this pattern, you're gonna need the following materials. We're gonna be using all worsted but yarn, 100% cotton. Favorite kind of yarn to use with uh, for Amigurumi in general, but especially for these under the sea critters. So let's go ahead and call the vote for the main color and do another vote for our secondary color really quick. Ears and fin for the C. 
seahorse. And it'll be the same options. Okay, so secondary votes up. It looks like everybody voted for cyan for our main color. So we're going to be using our, I don't know where that is, cyan uh, for the main color for our seahorse today because of the vote. Uh, we used a little bit of it. That's why the wrapping's not on it because we used it for our blue whale um, from last week. Um, so we'll need cyan for the main color. I'm not sure what color we're going to need for the secondary color. So we'll need a color, but I'm not sure which one yet. Let's just get this guy out of the way. He doesn't want to sit up anyhow. Um, so you'll need a secondary color. We'll choose that in a second. We'll obviously need stuffing and we'll need some eyes. We can use either six millimeter, oops, six or eight millimeter eyes in this pattern. I have a feeling we're going to vote for eight millimeter eyes, but it's up to you guys. So it's up to you which kind of eyes you want to use. Either one works. You will need a pipe cleaner. You only need one pipe cleaner or some strong wire. If you have some extra wire from season one, uh, that would also work. Uh, and then of course some stuffing. And that's all you need as far as the materials go. Let's go ahead and I'll just put this to the side. I'm not going to close it because we're going to still pick another color. Um, yeah, that's all the materials that you're going to need for this pattern. If you want to crochet along with me, you need the pattern itself, which you can find at clubcrochet.com slash under the sea. Uh, and today we're doing a giveaway. Uh, last live stream, I promised that if we got 150 likes, we would do a giveaway. So today we're doing a giveaway for a under the sea pin. We're actually running a little bit low. I just put another order in so we can have some more. They are in the shop though, if you wanna get one. It's kinda of now or never. So go ahead and buy one in the shop if you're interested in these pins or try to win one. If you wanna to try to win one, all you need to do is go to clubcrochet.com giveaway. Again, there's a link in the description for that. Uh, and yeah, it is, it is like a little cro cro venture. I like that, Drew. That's that's exactly what it is. Um, all you need to do to enter to win is just fill out a little form, and basically all I'm asking is what's your email so I can send uh, so I can let you know that you won, and how is your day going? It's really that's kind of it. I just wanted to make it easy to enter to win this giveaway. So if you want to enter to win, enter down below. I'm gonna choose a winner at the end of the live stream. So that is your shout out there. Okay, now. Before we get hooking, let's talk about all the ways you can support this channel if you would like to, um, and then we'll get hooking. So, if you'd like to support this channel, the easiest, cheapest, freest way is just like and subscribe down below. Just go ahead and like and subscribe. If this video gets 200 likes, we're going to do another giveaway next week, and I'll make it even bigger than our pin. So, every time we up it, I'll make the giveaway bigger and bigger. So that is a free way to support the channel. If you want to support this channel monetarily, well, there's a whole different story. The best way to support monetarily is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones in. It feels like every single week I'm adding a new one in recently. Um, but at least two times a month I'm adding a new pattern in or a new tutorial. Um, uh, and you get discounts in the shop. You get a crazy discounts on the new seasonal kits uh and it's just a great way to support the channel you can even get a free trial see if it's something you're interested in if you're not you can cancel it at any time and you can learn more by using the link in the description or in the comments cooper just posted it it's just clubcrochet.com slash membership again best way to support the channel uh if you want to support the channel monetarily in other ways you can purchase kits in the store our new seasonal kit is out now like i was saying it makes all the projects that we're going to be making until the end of September. So it's quite a lot of projects for this season. Uh, and we've been talking a little bit and we're making them live, uh, but we still have a lot more to make. Um, what else? Oh yeah, if again, other ways you can support monetarily. There are other things like pins and merch in the store um, and uh, patterns, obviously. Uh, and then the, the last way you can help support the channel today is by tipping. If you're interested in tipping and you'd like to support monetarily, you can support with any monetary value. And if you do, we're gonna add little miniature characters to the background. You've seen a couple of them, and we're gonna add more in the background as uh, we go through it today. Um, but all of those will be added to our, here, I'll just take it off right now, to our 
uh, fishbowl with the goal of filling the fishbowl up. So far, we've got a fancy octopus. We've got some a little tiny seahorse. These patterns are coming out soon, by the way. A little squid, a little whale. Uh, and every support will go into this. And then once we fill this thing up, we're going to do a humongo giveaway for a new seasonal kit. But I'll put out all um, the support on the screen during, this, during the uh, giveaway or during the live stream. Speaking of Cooper rocking and rolling right off the bat, um, I thought we could do something kind of fun today. Wait, hold on. Whoa, Cooper, that's such a good idea. Cooper said uh, that they've been working on a big pillow using the flower coaster pattern. Um, that's the pattern that just came out with season two. It was the final pattern. And he's making a pillow with it. Oh my God, that's a genius idea. Genius. I want to do that. That's such a good idea. Um, wow, really smart. Okay, so let's go ahead and put something out for Cooper. I think what we're going to do is we'll do um, $10 gets you something a little bit bigger. And then uh, like the amount that you tip will determine how large of a crocheted object goes into the pot for you. Um, so, Cooper, to say thank you, let's add... Here. Oh, I almost just dropped, I almost just knocked over my entire coffee. That would have been bad. Cooper, we're gonna add the OG Beluga. I made this when I was 18, I think, is when I made this. Um, so I've been sitting on these whale patterns for quite a long time, I've never released them. And this was actually the first beluga that I made. So I thought it'd be kind of fun. You can see how it's a little bit different than the final one. Um, here, I'll show you the one we made last week. This is our little painting beluga. And you can see how the, the iteration has changed quite a bit in that time. Um, still got a general idea. The fins are pretty much the same. They're a little bit sharper, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to look at that. So we'll put that in the background and we'll add that to the background uh, after the live stream. Okay, the next thing we want to do is stop the vote. Am I, Samantha, stop asking if you're if I'm tired because every time you ask if I'm tired, it makes me feel like I look like I'm tired or it makes me feel like I should feel like I'm tired. So it doesn't help. Please don't ask me anymore. <laughs> I'm not though. I'm actually pretty awake. I'm just feeling chill. Um, I just goobered all over myself. Hold on. I just got coffee all over my shirt. See, you can see it kind of. Anyhow, uh, do I stretch during my crocheting? I do stretch during my crocheting. I actually stretch my hands a lot, like that. You'll notice me in the live streams consistently cracking and like stretching my fingers like that. Um, I really like doing that. Um, Oki doki artichoki. Let's log into the website here so that I get the pattern. And then we need to look at the vote. Let's go ahead and end the vote for what color our secondary color is going to be, which looks like it's going to be, whoa, outstanding vote for purple. Very cool. I'm super into that, um, which means we get to unwrap a new ball of yarn today. That's kind of fun. So we're going to be using purple. Oh, ooh, it feels so good to do that. Um, okay, <laughs> I get to do that so often now because I have so many of these balls of yarn, but like, it's still like, I still feel like, ooh, new ball of yarn, you know? Anyhow, so we're gonna be making purple for the fins and the back fin and then cyan for the main color. Um, we'll go ahead and move these um, narwhals out of the way, but I guess if you guys want a tip, I will add maybe a narwhal. If you wanna make a request for what goes into the pot or, or into the, you know what I'm saying, fishbowl. Let me know. Um, we do have quite a crew today. I agree, Ruby. I totally agree. And yeah, hit that thumbs up. Like this video if you liked it. Um, okay, seahorse is gonna be cute. Great color choices, I agree. We might end up adding like blush and stuff to it as well. But I'm gonna start by making the fins and whatnot for our seahorse. And then we'll move on after that to making the body. And then we'll finish up today by giving our seahorse a hat, which we'll vote on um, probably halfway through making the body. Uh, also, we gotta vote on the eyes, because we're gonna be making 
uh, it's gonna be up to you how we make the eyes, uh, both in the size of the eye that we choose, and that's not how we start the fin. Um, both in the size of the eyes that we choose and in the, um, like, do we wanna add little blush on cheeks? Do we wanna add like whites around the eyes? Do we wanna use bobble stitches for the eyes? Stuff like that. So I'll throw that into the vote in just a second. Let me go ahead and make our fins first. We're also gonna vote on where to put the fins because the fins can go in multiple different locations in this pattern. So we can choose, do we want the fins high up on the body, low down on the body? Um, actually, I guess that's basically the two options. <laughs> And yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill. How's everybody else doing today? How are y'all doing? What's, what has your week been like? What has been a highlight of your week? What are you up to? What are you crocheting? Have you also been raising a, uh, a brood of little tiny pigeons like uh, Miss Zoe in the chat? because they have been taking care of some pigeons. By the way, Zoe, how are the pigeons? How's give us a give us a pigeon update. I still don't fully believe that the pigeons are not government spies, but you never know. You never know. Maybe pigeons really do exist. Who knows? Uh Dinky Crafts Jennifer, thank you so much for being a member. I super appreciate it. Is the mini versions of the uh, squids and whale out? I knew someone was gonna ask today. Uh, I know, I goofed. Let's just go with that, I goofed. It was really, really a goal of mine to get it up by today. And I totally messed that goal up in my franticness to get ready for the next crochet pattern that's coming next week. I was like, oh, I gotta focus on that and then I can get these mini patterns into the website as like rough draft patterns for today's live stream and then I, I just, it just didn't happen. I'm so sorry. So the answer is ASAP. It is open. It's like a tab on my, um, on my computer right now to add it onto the website. I'm gonna add in the mini whales, the uh, squids and the mini octopi as, um, rough draft patterns onto the website after the live stream. So you can go ahead and check those patterns out there. Uh, you will need a membership level account to access any kind of rough draft patterns that aren't technically released yet. Uh, so there's the caveat, but when it is out, it'll be on the homepage of the under the sea. So right here, it'll be on clubcrochet.com slash under the sea when it is available, which will be in, um, yeah, pretty soon, pretty soon. Um, yeah, Drew, he's, she's got, uh, Zoe's got a bunch of uh, baby pigeons in the backyard uh, and in like a pot and like a, like, I think it's in a pot, right? In the backyard. And uh, I still don't fully believe that uh, pigeons are real. Or not pigeons are real, but uh, that baby pigeons exist. I know pigeons are real, but you know government spies much am i right <laughs> by the way uh for the people out there that don't realize i am joking i do believe pigeons exist and they're not government spies so nsa if you're listening i'm not on to you am i right y'all know what i mean okay <laughs> um all right we are making our large fin now in our poiple and our poiple pigeons were originally pets so they are very domesticated and really smart well i think pigeons were probably originally doves and then they were pets but yeah i get what you're saying are there's no difference right pigeons are doves doves are pigeons is that correct it really changes your perspective on a dove. Like doves are always seen as like beautiful, like, wow, it's a dove. It's peaceful and beautiful. And then once you realize that like a dove is just a pigeon, you're like, mm, actually you're kind of like a trash bird. 
You gave your pigeons bracelets? How did you get little tiny bracelets on them? Claire says that all birds are real and are independent living beings. <sighs> if you say so. <laughs> all right, I think we have our large fin done. Um, we could go, actually we can do one more because we can do either do four or five. Let's do five. Why not? Let's live our, let's live our life on the edge. Wow, getting kind of crazy up in here, making the fin extra long. Making a giant plesiosaur is way cool. I think that's how I say, I, I'm always wondering if I'm saying that right. right. Is it ple, plesiosaur or plesiosaur? Yeah, Drew, I'm telling you, man, the second you find that out, you start going down the rabbit hole and then you realize that not only are, are doves just white pigeons, but that they're all robot government spies here to take over the world. I really, really hope that I don't get dinged by YouTube for like uh, conspiracy theories or something crazy like that because of my jokes. So uh, this is my caveat. It is a joke, YouTube. It is a joke. <laughs> okay. Um, before I get started on the snout for our um, little seahorse here, we do need to throw another vote in the chat because by the time we get to our eyes, I'm going to need to know what to do. So here is our options for eyes. Let's go through and I'll show you our different options for eyes. Um, I think what we can do is a, uh, a variety of options here. So we can either do regular old eight millimeter eyes or six millimeter eyes. That's gonna be this one. So those are gonna be the two first votes. Six millimeter or eight millimeter eyes by themselves. Or we can do like goofy googly eyes using bobble stitches. Now I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna put those bobble stitches yet. So I'm gonna have to figure that out during the video because it's not in the, the written pattern. So I'll explain it if we vote on that. Or we can do much more simple um, whites around the corners of the eyes by embroidering uh, white on. So I'm gonna call these, okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna throw this in the boat and we're gonna, we're gonna vote on that while I make the rest of the, the snout. Um, eyes for our seahorse. We're gonna go eight millimeter plain, six millimeter plain, and when we do our six millimeter and eight millimeter plane, we can still do like cheeks and stuff. So if you want to do cheeks, you can do that. Um, uh, and then eight millimeter uh, uh, whites around the outside or six millimeter bobble stitch eyes. And then I'm gonna put googly in parentheses so you get the gist. Okay, so there's the vote. You can vote for eight millimeter plane, six millimeter plane, uh, eight millimeter with whites around the corners of the eyes, or six millimeter googly bobble stitch eyes. Those are our votes. Go ahead and vote now. I'll go ahead and put these in the background while that vote's going, um, and then we will, I'll take it off. I'll, I'll move these guys out of the way in a sec. Okay, you can just lay right there. But if you have any questions on that, uh, just let me know in the chat. And while y'all are voting for that, I'm gonna start making the snout for our fella, and I'm gonna vote. Ooh, interesting. Okay, okay, yes, votes are definitely coming in. Wow. Hey, by the way, thank you guys for being so active in the voting today. Uh, it's They're going very quick, and I, I super appreciate that. That makes things easier for me, and also, it's just kind of fun to know that y'all are y'all are as invested as I am <laughs> in the in the way that we make this horse. Okay. So next thing we're making here is the snout, the tube nose is what I call it. Which I guess we could also use this tube nose for an elephant. I think I'm. I think I did that on the Bonimal 
version of uh, the elephant bonimal. Four, five. Okay, so five chains slip just in the first right here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, by the way, Drew, how are you, my dude? How have you been? Uh, Drewby Zoo, by the way, in the chat. If you don't know who Drewby Zoo is, they are the ones that uh, came out with a few of the patterns on our website. So we've been doing a few collaboration patterns with them, uh, including. Hold on, I actually have one right here, I think. Here we go. This adorable manatee, which uh, we've titled Humanity because it's doy, it's adorable. Um, it's actually a dugong on the website, but we made it into a manatee during the live stream. Uh, this is a Drewby Zoo creation in, on the website. And hold on, I got the other one like right here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And now this is, again, a different version of it, but a giant strawberry. So these are both our uh, collaboration patterns with Drewby Zoo. And we have another one coming out this season, and then another one coming out next season, and the season after that, and the season after that. So we got four uh, on their way. And uh, also, check this out. Made into that. Oops, I hope that didn't wake up Jimbo. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, and all of those can be uh, found on the website, by the way. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So what I did with this snout, by the way, a little bit of uh, background on this pattern, is that I made it so that the chains, so you chain five and then you connect it, and then you single crochet six around. And the thing is that the chains are just a little bit better, bigger than the single crochets, and that's actually on purpose because when you skip the chains here and you start working into the stitches around, it actually makes a little tiny point at the end of the nose which turned out to be really nice and looked really good on the seahorse itself. So instead of it just being a tube, it's kind of like a tube with a little little nose, little nub on the end, which uh, was a little bit more seahorsey, in my opinion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Drewby's coming for all seasons. That's right. Yeah, so we have a really cool collaboration pattern with him coming out. Uh, in I believe we got it prepped for August it might like end of August early September is the um, is the plan for Drew's uh, mystery pattern coming out this this season uh, and yeah I'm very very excited about it it's super cute and it just fits it fits the vibe so well uh, Drew Drew was Drew came came prepared let's go with that <laughs> yeah Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so next round. How is the temperature where y'all are at? Because here, it is so hot outside. It's like, I mean, okay, I, I should be I should be careful about what I say because I am a I am a sensitive little California boy, and uh, it's like. It's like 90, 80, like high 80s outside, low 90s maybe. I am sweating. I've been sweating all week. Oh my gosh, it's so hot out there to me. But I know some people are out there going like, you think that's hot? You should come live in Death Valley where I'm boil my blood is boiling. And it's like, okay, well. It's not that hot. I could still survive. Yep, there it is. Sunshine saying 111 where they're at. It is a hot day. So, hence why we're all inside hanging out and crocheting because it's too hot to go outside. It's too hot. It is a too hot out there. Okay. I'm always surprised that the snout is only this long because it feels like it should be longer, but it's not. It's snapped. That's pretty good. Throw that through. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we got our snout. Our snoot. Boop the snoot. And we've got our fins and we've got our large fin and small fins. Uh, great. Let's go ahead and cancel the vote for the eyes since y'all have made your decision. Oh boy. And I'm glad I'm finding out now. Okay. So we are going to be doing 
bobble stitch eyes. This is gonna take some thought from me. I, I can't just, I can't just ad lib this. I've gotta, I've gotta think about how I'm gonna do these eyes before I make them. So let's go ahead and think this through really quick before we get started. So it looks like the first one, two, three rounds can be the same. It's round four when we're gonna have to add the bobble stitches in. And where are we gonna have to add the bobble stitches in? So that's one, two, three, and this is four. Seven, eight, looks like nine, and then okay. So one, two, three is all the same. So we can keep on our first three rounds as normal. Let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way, by the way. Um, okay, so we need our main color, and let's get hooking. Oh, Drive Away Dragons. First off, love the name. Second off, they ask, please help. Um, I've lost my crochet motivation. You lost your crochet. I'm trying to put together mojo and crochet together. Your cro crojo? Nah, that's weird. Um, lost your crochet motivation. I'm new. What do I do? I'll tell you what you do. What? Well, first off, let's get a little bit more information, Drive Away Dragons. What is... Um, have you crocheted before? Are you mostly, uh, is it mostly making little miniature amigurumi kind of thing? Or are you more of a, uh, I've, I like making blankets or hats or um, scarves or something like that? What, what kind of projects have motivated you in the past? And then we'll work off of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but yeah, losing your crochet mojo, I totally get. It happens all the time. Crojo. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Kemma's got it. Kemma's got it. Yoink. There we go. Um, but what I have noticed for myself for when I lose motivation to crochet specific things is, I mean, I, I will say for me, it's a, it's a little bit different because I really get a lot of, um, motivation for making very small characters so that like in between like it's just easier to stay motivated when it's not <laughs> you don't have to crochet for very long um that being said uh some ways that i that help me to get crochet motivation is projects that are really exciting so recently i've been getting extremely motivated to crochet goblins Oh my god, you guys should see it. I've been making so many goblins, it's actually insane. Um, but uh, uh, I've started to hide the goblins in my neighborhood. Um, like I started to create a little town of goblins. Actually, let me see, maybe I can show you. Oh no, I can't, I can't show you. Because it's on my phone and my phone is being used to show this beautiful kitty cat in the corner. But I've been making these little goblins and hiding them in my neighborhood. And ever since I started doing that, my motivation to crochet, specifically goblins, but crochet in general, has gone out the window. Like, I'm so much more motivated than I've been in a long time to crochet. So things like that really help me is finding a project or a way to use crochet. That's really exciting. Um, my tabletop game, Stitched, uh, always makes me very excited to crochet. It keeps me very motivated. Um, and I think that's because like, you know, you're, you're u utilizing your crochet for something in particular, um, which I think is really exciting, uh, for me. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps, uh, let us know though, if, if like what, what works in the chat, what works for you to stay motivated with crochet, especially when you're losing your motivation. Um, okay, let's go ahead and figure out where we're putting the eyes. We got, it'll be one, two, three. Seven, eight, and then it looks like stitch nine will be a bobble stitch, and then stitch nine and 10, 11, 12, 13. Nine and 13. We're gonna need our white yarn for this, so there it is. So we'll get this out. And stitch number nine and 13, we wanna add a bobble stitch. 
uh, to add our googly white eyes. I'm very excited to see what this looks like. We might end up also wanting to add like eyelids or something to it to keep it interesting, but I don't know. We'll find out. Five. All right, so stitch number nine, and I think it was stitch nine and 13. What we're, what we're aiming for here. And I'm just gonna do, uh, if you uh, wanna also do this, all you need to do is crochet stitches nine and 13 with a bobble stitch, uh, specifically a mini bobble stitch, which is basically three double crochets put together in the same stitch. So one, two, and three. If you wanna learn more about how to do bobble stitches and how to use them effectively, uh, check out uh, clubcrochet.com slash bobble. I made a whole tutorial just for it. So that was nine. This will be 10. Um, I'll just keep working around it since the snout is going to be sewn around it anyhow. 11, 12, and then this next one would be 13. So let's just make certain. Yeah. Just feels like it's really gonna be close. I guess not. I, you know what? We're gonna live our life. We're gonna live our life and live with the repercussions later. Even though these eyes might be very close together, it might make our guy look really goofy. We're gonna have like the goofiest looking, uh, I don't know what, cowboy, maybe? Maybe, we'll see. Seahorse. Yeah, you can see how those eyes are coming together. We're gonna to put bobble stitches, I mean, uh, eyeballs right into the middle of these bobble stitches later on in the pattern. Oh, Camper, thanks so much for joining and just saying hi, I appreciate it. Uh, you should give this video a like, by the way, while you're at it and enter the giveaway. It'll only take you a second uh, and I'll make sure to let you know, regardless of your, if you're here or not, if you won the giveaway. It's gonna be chosen completely at random at the end of the live stream. Okay, so we want three rounds of 15 here, so this is just the first one. So we got two more to go. And then we need to decrease, and then we can start sewing the face on. Oh. Elsa! Elsa says that uh, they're trying to learn how to make plushies like these. Hi. Hello, Elsa. You should absolutely make amigurumi like this. Uh, if you want to get started, a good pattern that I literally just came out with the other day was how to crochet a whale, um, which we've been putting a lot of links to, but you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash whale. Uh, it's a great beginner tutorial that will get you into the vibe of like how to make um, amigurumi. I crochet, you absolutely can have a shout out. How you doing, I crochet? Hope you're having a great day. Thanks, nerdy. Nerdy artist, I appreciate it. I think it is, I agree, I think it's looking pretty good. So far, so far, so good. Uh, Five Worlds Explorer, the live is currently going. Uh, Someone let Five Worlds Explorer know that maybe they should refresh the page because we've been going for a while and I don't think they know it. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, just hanging out today. Make it kind of got a somewhat of a chill day um i have to record some videos uh I'm, i was hoping to get to it today but i have a feeling that realistically i'm not going to be able to finish my record my videos until midday tomorrow um, but i got to record the video for how to make the dolphin so um how do we enter the giveaway you just go to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway it's the top link or one of the top links in the description. And you just need to fill out a little form. It's really just me asking like what your email is, uh, how your day is going, and just 
just chill questions and then I'm gonna vote or we're gonna no, I'm not gonna vote we're gonna choose someone at random at the end of the live stream from that list of people that entered the giveaway and give them a little miniature pin the new brand new pins by the way these are in the shop I don't know if I said that before but they are in the shop as of um, as of late 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 last night uh, I think I got them into the shop at like 4 a.m. last night I stayed up a little too late Is this season's secret pattern a Coraline octopus thing? No, it is not. Uh, there is an octopus pattern uh, and a squid pattern in this season, but those are not the secret patterns. Um, the secret patterns are secret. Okay, so we got the head going here, and you can see it looks a little funky right now. Looks a little creepy and ghosty, but once we sew on the snout here and then add our eyes in, I think it'll it'll be very, very clear what's going on. Oh, you know what? We also need to vote on something else. Um, so let's do a vote real quick. Uh, where do we sew on the fins? Uh, small fins top. All right, so there's your vote. I, I probably shouldn't have done the vote the way I did, but I did it anyhow. So your vote options are, where do we wanna add our fins? So we have these little fins on the side. We've got a few options here. We've got two little fins on the side and then one big uh, fin. We need to choose where we're gonna sew it. So the options are we can do the two little fins on the head um, or the two little fins on the body on the bottom of the body and then the same question for the large fin it can either go on the head or on the body so your options are uh there's four four iterations of the choices you can do you can we can either do top fin and large fin on the top top uh or sorry small fins and large fin on the top small fins on the top large fin on the bottom small fins and large fin on the bottom or small fins on the bottom large fin on the top that was tough to say but you get the gist. So go ahead and vote uh, now in the in the chat on where you want me to sew the fins on. Um, I'm gonna go, let's see, what am I gonna vote for? Oh, you know what? Quick little thing, uh, I would suggest we do the large fin on the bottom. I'll still leave it to the vote, but the reason I suggest that is because we wanna sew on a hat. We wanna add a hat to it. So it's gonna be hard to add a hat on it if the large fin is there. We're gonna to have to add the hat like crooked or something. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out, but just as a caveat, I'm gonna vote for this one actually. Okay. How long are my crochet breaks? Hmm, weird, uh, interesting question. I don't really take crochet breaks. I just crochet when I, cr like, hmm, I don't know. It's, it's not like I take a break to crochet because it's my job, kinda, you know? It's like, it is my, it's just like what I do. I just do it all the time. If Invader Zim were a seahorse. <laughs> yeah, totally, dude. Um, but I would say when I do crochet, I usually crochet for at least like an hour and a half or so at a time um yeah ah okay so you know the giveaway is the c pin i'm confused what is it okay so i crochet the giveaway is to win a pin so i will ship you it the winner will win one of these pins and i'm going to ship them it personally probably with a few stickers because that's what i do um, and all you need to do to enter it is go to the link in the description, clubcrochet.com slash giveaway and fill out a form. Um, it's a really simple form. It's basically just asking what your name is and your email um, so that I can let you know if you won. And then at the end of the live stream, I'm going to choose one of those at random and uh, reach out to them, ask them where to ship this, and then 
you know, ship them a, a pin. So that's how it's going to work. Um, okay, I have seven stitches to work with. So let's go one, two, three, four, and then seven. Yeah, that actually is perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and sew our snout here together. There we go. One. What do you do with the pin? It's a it's like a pin that you would pin onto stuff. So it like you know, it's a pin. You put it on a shirt, you put it on a hat, put it on a beanie, um, you can put it on your just don't don't put it on your skin, I guess. I don't know. Uh but yeah, it's a pin. You could like pin it to pin onto stuff. A little metal enamel pin. Ugh, let's add it back to the card. Boom. Boom like that. One, two, three across. Um, I kind of messed this part up, so I'm going to pull this part tighter, this part tighter. I love this yarn because it's like unbreakable. Unbreakable. Alarm, damn it. It's a man phone. Have I ever done a TikTok dance? I have never done a TikTok dance. Not personally. I bet you Drew's done a TikTok dance, though, haven't you, Drew? Have you? I feel like I've seen a video of Drew doing a dance on TikTok. But I have never done it. I'm actually not super duper good at TikTok. That being said, I did have a TikTok go really well this week. It's my first one that like really went well on TikTok. Um, my tutorial for how to use stitch markers did really, really well. <laughs> Annabeth, day 37,363 of asking if there will be another reversible animal. Uh, I haven't gotten a lot of requests for it, so I will say, like, I would like to do more reversible animals. Um, I really, really like them. Uh, but I haven't been getting a lot of requests. Yours is like really the only request I've gotten for that. But good to know that there is someone out there that also really likes them. So I will work on it. Um, and I'll and I'll reach out to uh, Sir Pearl Gray to see if he wants to do a, another collaboration reversible pattern. Uh, I know I wanted to do a chameleon back uh, when I was coming out with those. Um, and uh, there was another one. I should really do an octopus, obviously, while we're in under the sea, but yeah. Oh. Because of the lack of... <laughs> Sarah says that they're sad with this season because of the lack of butts. There were quite a lot of butts in season one. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind, Sarah. And uh, maybe we'll, maybe I'll add a few more few more secret bonus butts in the um, in the patterns going forward that's that's really funny though not enough butts more butts I'm imagining that that scene in um, Star Wars when when Kylo Ren's like more more and it's just butts uh, do I ever go to conventions? You know, I have done a few conventions. I really, really want to make that a, um, a larger priority for myself going forward. Um, uh, but it's really hard. It's hard to do. 
uh, and you know it's hard to like make it financially like worth it to go um, especially because I have to like sell my crochet pieces and as you probably know it's hard to sell crocheted pieces for a reasonable amount of money um, uh, especially because I don't like letting go of them I really really like everything that I make so it's hard for me to like release my crochet <laughs> be like yeah you can have it I don't know I know it's like more of a personal problem but it is definitely a personal problem that I have okay so we got one googly eye there very googly wow <laughs> that's pretty cute uh and let's add the other one over here so by the way this is how i do it i basically just take my crochet hook and shove it right into the bobble stitch in between two of the uh the parts of the bobble stitch to make a little gap you can kind of see it there a little bit of a gap and then i take my eye and i just wiggle it until it goes in and then we have googly little eyes like our burbs that's a pretty cute one do need to clean that one up a little bit exactly nerdy that's exactly it i i love them too much it's hard to let them go and if i do want to let them go i i'm more willing to like give them to like a kid or something you know like especially like family members i'd rather just give them away uh, to people that it's hard, it's just hard to ask for money for stuff that I mean you guys know it's hard it's hard to let them go uh yes Annabeth says hard to let them go says the guy same guy who si hides his trolls around the neighborhood that's like barely letting them go though because I go to see them like every day <laughs> and say hi <laughs> Farana <laughs> hi hi Farana how are you doing um, okay, we got our googly eyes. Um, we have voted on where to put the fins, have we? Oh, we're almost voted on it. Still, still making choices. But I think we need to. I think we do need to add our fins at the top if we want to now. So, yeah, let's go ahead and close the vote and see what, what is one. We might not have to do any of them on the top, but I'm not sure. See. Oh, small fins top, large fins bottom. Okay, cool. So basically like the same as what we have on this one. That's great though, because it'll be really perfect with a hat. So I personally like that a lot. I was actually also thinking we could use some of this purple yarn to go under the eyelid to add like kind of, um, not like sad eyes, but you know, like, like, um, kind of like tired eyes. There, there's something about adding that that gives your characters like so much more uh, detail so let me sew these on first and then once I do that I'll show you what I mean and then we'll um, we'll make a decision together whether or not we want to keep uh, like the eyelids but I think like right here right next to the eyes but a little bit further down is a good spot because it gives us a lot of real estate on the top of the head Whoa, Lix, there's a storm where Lix is. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. And they said that lightning has just struck and now there's smoke coming from outside. What? That's wild, dude. That's crazy. That is just so different than the weather that I have outside of my house right now. It's just crazy to think about. Okay, so I think like that is what I'm thinking for the fins. We do one right there. Oopsies, I've kind of pulled it out a little bit, so I gotta tie it tighter. And then one on the other side. He's looking ultra goofy, but we'll de-goofify him a little bit in a bit. De-goofify. How do you join Discord? Uh, you can just go to clubcrochet.com slash Discord. There should be a link in the description as well. Um, and I think that's all you need to do to, to join the, the Discord. Just go to that page and it should take you right there um wait did the big so what one was the small fins at the top and the big fin at the bottom that's what one we weren't voting on like whether or not to keep them or not 
but rather where they get sewn on. I did make this a little bit lower maybe than we wanted, but eh, whatever. Whatever, we're gonna live our life. It'd be really cute when we have a little cowboy hat on top of them. So we want one like here. And the other one two stitches down. Cool. Like that. Boom. And Yes, stay safe. I'm assuming we're talking about the thunder or the lightning. I guess both. The fightning. The lunder. Okay. There is our head. Wow, what a goofball. That is that is pretty goofy. Okay, so let's look at these eyelid options that I was talking about and see what you guys think about that and if you feel that we should add these or not. Um, I'm just gonna use the very small amount of thread that we have left over so we can get an idea of it. But it's basically, I'm thinking like we go up from down here. We could do it in a different color too, but I feel like purple is a great color for it. It'll give you the idea of what we're feeling. Um, we might need more than this though but essentially like this. You see, if we just add a little bit there, uh, it kind of makes them look crazy though. Kind of makes them look crazy. I don't know, what do you guys think? I can remove that super duper easy. Let me know in the chat, I am looking. So this is with the eyes. <laughs> Tina says hi, Jack. Hey Jack, Jack. He's out, he's out, fast asleep. But I'll tell him, Tina, that you say hi. Um, yeah, so the idea with the eyes is that we could do it like this, or we could do it like blank. I don't know, what do you think? It does add a little bit, we can do eyebrows too. Actually, let's see what an eyebrow looks like over here. So let's do eyebrow over here. And we'll go over to this. Okay, so let's see. There's what an eyebrow would look like. Actually, eyebrow is, eyebrow is pretty funny. Eyebrow, there's the under eyelid. Obviously we can do both. You know what? Let's put it as a vote. Let's put it as a vote. Crazy horse, oh my god, that's funny. Um, base detail, and we're gonna go um, eyelid. Um, eyebrows. Okay. Vote is in the chat. Let me know how you want me to, if you want me to add eyelids or eyebrows or what. Um, the good thing is we can add this later, no worries at all. In the meantime, let us put this to the side here. And drink a little bit of coffee. And, oh, I get a vote too. I, I actually think I want this one. Ooh, it looks like I am not alone. A lot of people want the same thing that I wanted. You're getting big elephant vibes. Yeah, me too, Annabeth, for sure. A sleeping cap. Ooh, shoot, that's a good idea. If we do the eyelids on the underside, then we can do like a sleeping cap on top of it. That's a good idea. Instead of a cowboy hat, we'll, we'll vote on what kind of hats to do in a second as well. Um, okay. Um, while you're doing that, there was something I wanted to do. I had my coffee. Oh, 
Well, I can't remember. Um, oh, I know what we should do. Take a look at this adorable cat. Oh my god. How do I get anything done? You know what I mean? Like, look at this dude. I just want to... Oh, I just want to squeeze him until he... Explodes into a ball of fluff. Not really. I don't want to hurt my cat. I just love him so much. I just love him. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not really. But I'm a little sorry. We could do a top eyelid if we want to really make him look sleepy. So he's like this. Um, here, I'll show you what that would look like too. Uh, I'd have to crochet it, but it's worth a shot. It kind of does look like a monster from Zelda. Like the Octorok kind of does look like that, Sarah, for sure. Um, this is how we're going to add an eyelid if we wanted to add like a top eyelid. One, two, and three. And then I just pull it tight like that. And then chain one. And I cut it. This is how I did eyelids in the past. But it's basically this part goes over the eye, so he's like this. And then he looks extra super sleepy. I kind of do like sleepy eyelid, too. Not gonna lie. He looks kind of sick, but it's kind of cute. It looks unhinged. He's a little unhinged right now, not gonna lie. So how many votes we got? 30 votes. All right, we'll call it. We'll call it. What do you guys vote for? Oh, eyebrows. Okay, cool. Yeah, for sure. Let's go, let's go with the eyebrows. Let's go with the eyebrows. I might make a, um, an executive decision on how the eyebrows are shaped, but I do like the idea of eyebrows. And we'll stick with the purple so that we can keep in the same color uh, coordination. Axolotl pattern, yes. Big, big uh, um, requests out there for axolotl patterns. So yes, uh, that that is part, that is, it's in my mind. Don't you worry about it. Um, okay, other eyebrow would go here and then over like this. Okay, so let's take a look at these eyebrows and see what we got. Oops, there we go. Okay. Oh my God, that looks really funny. He looks so shocked. Oh my God, when he has a little cowboy or whatever we put on the top of his head too. Oh my God, that's, that's gonna look so cute. Okay, I actually really like where those eyebrows are placed. So let's go ahead and double knot it here and we're gonna call it there. Oh my God, that would have been really cute though, Tegan. I, I like that idea. If we made him look like that sad sickly and then added a little snot, a snot bubble or something coming out of the nose. That'd be really funny. Actually, just a bubble in general. That'd be funny. Next time. Next time on Survivor. That's what I always think when I say next time like that. Next time. Sometimes I'll, uh, I'll think something's perfect and I'll go, perfect. Anybody know what that's from? <laughs> I do it all the time just because I play a specific video game way too much. Now it looks more like Grandpa Seahorse. Oh my gosh, Grandpa Seahorse. Should we add little crow's feet? Little crow's feet here, one, two, one, two. We can add that later. I'm gonna think about it though. Let me know what you think. Crow's feet? Crow's feet or nose feet? It does, it does have a Squidward vibe going on for sure. A middle-aged seahorse with a receding hairline. Oh my God, we should do, we could totally do a receding hairline. <laughs> that would be super funny. Okay, wait, wait, where were we? One and then invisible decrease, got it. One and, ooh. 
And six. One more stitch here. I've got to keep track of where I'm at, by the way. I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually use the check marks on the patterns in the um, on the website. And something that I uh, realized the other day that I totally forgot we did was the check marks actually stay if you're logged in, so that you can like go from one device to another and you should have the check marks to keep track of what your progress is on the patterns in other patterns it it was way cool i was like i was what was i crocheting yesterday i was making a um a, a burb actually let me show you it looks really cute oh i'm sorry jimbo oh no 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 you're good you're good stay there Oh, Jimbo has stirred. We've, we've, we have, we've stirred the Jimbo. Anyhow, I made this burb yesterday and I was like, where, like, I, I forgot how many stitches to do between where the eyes are and the, um, the frill on the body is. Uh, someone ordered this on, on my Etsy page, which I didn't even know I was still selling them, but someone ordered it. So I made them a pigeon and, um, and so I was confused about where I left off and I went from one device to another device. I went from my phone to my iPad and then when I did my i when I went to my iPad, it had where I was saved on the pattern. I don't know. It was very cool. But anyhow, this is a cute little red pigeon. Uh, Jules and I keep going. Um, red pigeon, dumb. <laughs> anyhow, okay, back to our seahorse. Okay, one and then an increase. one increase here Ooh, okay Sarah says that the music is making them sleepy you know what that means it's time to bump up the jam let's go to some of this ready ready vibe change in three two one yeah we'll turn it up too how's that It needs to be loud now. Yeah. Is that too loud? That is too loud. Yeah. Let me know how that sounds. Okay. Uh, for Honda said that they haven't didn't sleep last night. Man, I barely slept last night too. Because I, I went to bed so late, and then I had a meeting this morning at like, um, well actually it wasn't this morning. It was like at noon. But I woke up pretty late. I was like, I was like 10:30. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> I wish I did get up earlier though, so that I could have gotten the miniature patterns on the website as rough drafts, which was my goal for this morning, but I didn't, I didn't complete it. Annabeth! Yes, well, I'll, I'll, I'll begin the process of working on a new reversible pattern. Um, I've got a few in the books uh, for the next few weeks though, including the new Pikmin patterns, um, a bunch, like a new Bonhamel, stuff like that. So there are stuff in the works right now. So that, that I will give you that heads up, but okay. Oh, you know what? I think we're gonna move the end of this round over to make the face match a little bit better. Cause I'm pretty sure I sewed the face on a little bit backwards, but that's okay. We're, we'll just fix it by shifting the round over a little bit. And then it'll be a little bit easier. Yeah, okay, cool.
Jimbo's back in his back in his spot. I have actually tried a giraffe pattern before to uh it's very difficult to do a draft pattern because of all the spots it's like really tough to like make a draft pattern look like a giraffe because you know because it's got like all these little weird spots so like the color changes need to be weird or something and then making the um yeah just making it all like seamless and easy to make uh, i think has been a really difficult challenge for me in the past but uh it's an interesting concept i'll i'll put some thought into that especially when it comes to making um uh more bonimals because i think a giraffe bonimal would be really cute but yeah i do have i do have a little bit of difficulty figuring that one out i'm not gonna lie not gonna lie Bread bug, yes! Oh my god, a bread bug or a giant bread bug? Oh my god. They're my they're oh definitely the cutest. I although although the little weevils are really cute, I think. I think they're like super duper cute, personally. I'm so excited for the game. Hey, shout out to anybody else out there that's really excited for Pikmin because I'm gonna be obsessed with it this weekend. I hope I don't beat it too fast. But it's also kind of okay if I do play the game really fast because I need to play Zelda more too. I need to play Zelda more too. Hey, we got a lot of subscribers right now. Thank you for everybody that subscribed. Matthew, Michelle, I don't know if you're in the live stream, but thank you. Um, okay. I Crochet asks, any tips on holding the yarn? I usually hold it twice but then it won't go through, it gets tight, and then when I hold it once around my finger, it slides down through the knife way. Okay, so you hold you hold your crochet hook knife way. Oh, you're saying this. Okay, so you're saying like, I think this is what you mean, I crochet. Are you saying like holding it the way I'm doing it right now is like once, whereas some people do this. Go around the back of their pinky. That actually works really, really well, especially sometimes when I'm crocheting a lot, my hand, uh, my left hand starts to like cramp a little bit because I'm basically because I'm holding the yarn like this with these three fingers. And so these three fingers will start to cramp. So when that happens, I, I do that instead so that I don't have to bend my pinky as much and still have a good amount of tension. Um, so I don't know if that's what you're talking about or not, but that might help you. Um, yeah, I, I think this this method is actually pretty good, um, and, and an easy way to keep a good grasp on your crochet. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Oh my gosh, dude, nerdy artist, me and your me and your husband are, are two peas in a pod. I'm so obsessed with Pikmin. I really hope it gets here. Like, ugh, man, I have to get I have to work though tomorrow. Well, specifically, what I have to do tomorrow is I have to get ready because on on um, Saturday morning I'm doing a uh, an event at the library in my town. Uh, I'm selling my crochet kits at a library, which I'm pretty excited about, honestly, because it, it should be pretty fun. Um, and uh, yeah, they they just they asked. Uh, I have a friend that worked that's a librarian there, and she was like, "Hey, do you want to sell crochet kits here?" And I was like, "Yeah, you know what? Sure, why not." Um, so I'm pretty excited about that, but I have to, that means that I really have to get prepared, uh, tomorrow, like big time. Um, and yeah, I just feel very, like very unprepared. Um, shoot. I really need to use a stitch marker here. And then it invisible, which will be four and then two. Oh, right, yeah, because we're decreasing it down now to make, like, the chest of our of our seahorse. I know, I know. It, it you know, it, it wouldn't be a problem if it was, like, actually crochet work, you know? And I do have to record a video tutorial tomorrow, but that's fun. Like, I enjoy doing that part. The annoying part that I got to do tomorrow is, like, 
finding my inventory, making sure all the kits are prepared. I've got to like make sure I've got the table set up and like and get everything packed in the car. And then I gotta wake up early on the Saturday. I'm just not looking forward to the whole process of it, but that's okay. Uh, okay, one invisible decrease two, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Um, before I continue, I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna stuff the head up just a bit. Uh, we'll just use our extra thread here and this extra thread and do I have any more? Yes, this one. Uh, and then we'll use some stuffing just a little bit. And then we'll, I'm gonna try to get the stuffing all the way up to the head by using my crochet hook here. And we're gonna try not to stuff it too much. But we do want to get the head fully stuffed if we can. That's pretty good. Let's turn the nose a little bit. Tweak the ears, poke the head in. <laughs> that guy looks, I really like, I'm, thank you for choosing eyebrows. I didn't know I needed that until now. You know what I mean? Okay. Is there a pelican burp? There's not a pelican burp, but dang, Sarah, there totally should be. Um, did I answer your question, Samantha? Let's see. How do you make your hands stronger from crocheting? There are tools that you can use to help your grip. Um, there's like tools that are like like things that you like squeeze like this. Or using like a stress ball, that could help. Um, but I don't know, honestly. I, I think maybe uh, that, that answer might be better solved via Google than me. <laughs> But I do think um, you can like uh, maybe uh, use like a like a stress ball. I think that could probably help a lot. Two. This is why I need to keep track of my rounds. I messed up. It's supposed to only be one invisible decrease. I had a feeling too, because when I was making it there, I was like, it feels like a lot of invisible decreasing, but okay. And then four. Okay, one, two, three, and four is gonna be right there. Okay. How long have I been crocheting? I've been crocheting since I was 14, maybe 15. Uh, I'm currently 31, so more than half my life, like 16 years. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, one, two, three. and then invisible. And then three after that. Two, and let me count my stitches. I'm gonna make sure I'm on track here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, we're, we're on track, we're on track. Pick that up. Okay, we need hats. We need to vote on a hat. Um, I think it's about that time. And uh, once I finish the body itself, like we're gonna wanna get going on a hat. So um, let's go ahead and uh, start taking some real suggestions for hats. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little Q and A. What kind of hat to add? I know Jimbo, hello. Jimbo has stirred and he is now here to hang out. Hi buddy, oh thank you. That's very nice of you. You wanna say hi to the live stream? Okay, come here. Oh yeah, you know they've been watching this whole time. Say hi. 
Say hello. Are you just gonna purr and bite me in the face? Love you. I love you too. Okay. You just wanna hang out here? Okay. We can crochet with you here. Okay, we're just gonna go. What are you talking about? What are you talking about this is uncomfortable? Uncomfortable for who? You or me? Oh, okay. Well, me too. Why don't we put you right back here? Kim was not interested. Not interested in hanging out. Hi, buddy. Okay, chill. Yeah. I don't want you starting to eat the yarn. I know how, I know what you want. I know what you want. I know what you want. <laughs> Receding hairline. Licks, that's a good, I like that. Receding hairline. Zoe, a unicorn horn. A sea unicorn, actually that's a pretty good idea. A bandana, I like that. I like that I crochet. Did you say a bandana or a banana? Oh, it's a banana. <laughs> I thought it said bandana. <laughs> okay, a construction hat. Interesting idea, Sunshine. Okay. Little worker, little worker horse. Jimbo, what are you eating? Is that my brown yarn? Is that your brown yarn now? Yeah. Oh my god, you're so cute. I can't even I can't I can't be mad. You're too cute. Too cute to be mad. Okay. We Start with an invisible decrease here, and single crochet two. Uh, and we still need to sew on our bottom fin here. Okay, so next part we need to do is we need to sew on the, what is a weird fuzz? It's a Jimbo fluff. You hear me, bud? You're getting your fluff everywhere. All right, we wanna sew on the back fin about right like here. Actually, you know what? We can wait a little longer to sew it on because we want it a little lower anyhow because it's like down here, right? Yeah, so we'll wait just a second longer. Jimbo, are you licking? Are you eating the kit? Don't eat the kit. He's eating the box for the... <laughs> He's eating the box for the under the sea kit. He's literally chomping it down right now. You're such a wiener, bud. A little crown, that's a fun idea. A birthday party hat, I like that, I like that. Yeah, do you like that too? He's, he's attacking the back of my leg, trying to... Uh, make me buckle hey we're not eating that get your butt off my feet stop it we're keeping the yarn up here now yeah we are because we don't trust you that's why He does this, Jimbo's been doing this thing where if I don't give him attention, he starts scratching up my yarn basket, biting the cords, as you know. But the scratching up the yarn basket's new and very frustrating. Ooh, that would be cool, Sarah. Oh my gosh, you're such a little wiener, bud. What is your problem? All right, now we have a bunch of rounds of single crochets here to make the tail extra long, and then we'll put a pipe cleaner and stuff in it. But before we get to that, we definitely need to stuff it, and we definitely need to sew this onto the back. Um, I think the best way to do this is probably just go and and finding the end of it. 
think we want the end to be like right like right here it's pretty evenly placed and I'll just put it somewhere on the side and we can stuff that in later and then the rest of this just needs to be sewn on like that Thank you, Cooper. Cooper is out here being a wonderful, wonderful human and adding uh, hats into the questionnaire. So if you want to add a hat and you can't figure out the Q&A part, uh, Cooper has kindly been adding them in for people. So thank you, Cooper. <laughs> yeah, Tegan, that's exactly what he's doing right now. Isn't it, bud? Oh my god, he's asleep. <laughs> he's asleep. Oh my god, he's so cute, you guys. You have no idea. This cat is just too much for me. I think we're gonna go like this. There we go. You know what? Let's go. We'll go up to here, actually. We probably are going to need to move this top one, actually. This is pretty good. Like that. Go tight. A UFO hat, like out of styro... Uh, um, not styrofoam. Foam, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Aluminum foil? I like that. I like where your head's at. We actually did a French beret last week. Kiart, uh, Kiartar? Kiarta, Kiarta. Yeah, here's the, actually, where did I put it? But where's our little artist? Oh, here he is. This is what we made last week, and we added a little little uh, beret to it, and and of course a little paintbrush. Okay. So this part needs to go in like should be a little higher than I was thinking. So not here, but like maybe even up here. Let's see what happens if I do that there. Lit. Pull in right? I don't know. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe it's a little high. Let's do it a little lower. Not there, but here. All right, now let's sit on. Oh my God, he's so cute. Boom. that a little too tight. Okay, now we can stuff it up just a little bit. We'll use this extra thread if we can get it in there. It might be kind of tough actually to stuff it with the thread at this point because the hole is so 
small, but we can give it a shot. I'm gonna use a stick, this little stick right here to stuff it in. Yeah, you know what, I'm not, I don't even trust getting that in there. We'll, we'll save that for another project. Yeah, my mom's on vacation right now, so I haven't given her the whale yet. She's in, uh, they went to Alaska. So I haven't brought it over yet. And I also want to make a little painting for him too. Maybe I could do that on a live stream actually, a little painting. You know, I crochet, I've actually have tried doing a mustache on a seahorse before, and it just doesn't look right. I've had, just, maybe it's just like, I've had a really difficult time making it look right, but like, I don't know. It just never looks correct. Cause it's like, do you put the mustache here on the top of the nose? Or do you put it down here? In which case, like, that's not, this is like the mouth, you know? So it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of hard to make it, it just, it just never looks exactly like what I'm hoping it does. Ah, <laughs> Drew! Welcome back. Yeah, we're making some progress. We're definitely making some progress. We're also taking votes now on hats. So if you have a suggestion for a hat, Drew, uh, let us know. Um, Cooper is putting it into a little, uh, into the Q&A. And uh, we're going to do a vote on the hats in just a second. Once I finish stuffing our piece up a little bit more. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the stuffing. So let's go ahead and look at our hat options maybe. Ooh, a pointy wizard hat is a fun idea. You know what, it seems like people are still putting in a lot of, oh wait, no, there are so many suggestions for hats. Wow, wow, we wow. Okay, all right, all right. Let me, let me choose some hats here. So we got, okay. What is a ghost hat? Samantha said a ghost hat. What does a ghost hat entail? Um. And Oh, I like that. That's a Wow, these are gonna be weird. I don't know how to make any of these. So, actually I do know how to make one of these. Okay, start a poll. Okay, vote time for the hat. This one might be tough for me, but here's your choices. We've got a cowboy hat, a propeller hat, which is like kind of one of those goofy little hats with like a little propeller on the top. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet if we do vote for any of these. Um, a unicorn horn, so we can make it instead of a seahorse, it's a sea unicorn, which is a pretty good idea actually. I really like that idea. Uh, and then a jester hat. So like, you know, a goofy little jester hat with like, Stuff like that. I have an idea on how to make all of these, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So go ahead and vote now. Um, you have until we finish our uh, seahorse and sew it closed um, to vote. And then I'll get started on the hat. Then I'll get started. Then I'll go ahead and get started on the hat. You see? <laughs> I like the jester hat idea for sure. If we don't end up doing the jester hat in this video, that's fine. Jimbo, I'm trying to talk. You don't care. I want to talk, he says. I want to hang out with your friends too. See, Hannah, it's a hard it's a hard vote today. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute idea, Dinky Crafts. Uh, that's that's a really good idea for the future uh, a little school cap for like 
like a graduation cap because he's in charge of a school of fish. That's a really fun idea for uh, maybe for next week's whale because we'll be doing more more uh, whales next week. Actually, in two weeks. No, is it next week? I think it is next week, actually. Yeah, next week we're making more whales. Yeah, I'm curious on how we're going to make a propeller hat if we do get that vote. I've got, I think I've got an idea, but you know me. I'll make it work. I'll make it work one way or another. Jimbo, did you say jester hat and cat? That's what Drew says you did. <laughs> he, he literally meowed like this. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you can sit here. Yes, you can sit there if you want. I'll move the garbage. One time, uh, when I was a kid, when I was in middle school, or maybe it was, maybe it was like the beginning of high school, I don't remember, but there was, I had a, um, actually no, it was definitely middle school, I had an iPod shuffle for those back in the day that was like a little miniature iPod. It was like literally, it was like this big and it, all it had was like a circle with like a next song, last song. Uh, you couldn't choose your music. It was just all shuffled music and you couldn't fit, it was like 50 megabytes or something. It was very, very small. Um, and I had on that iPod only a few songs, but one of them was this song in the background. The song from Mario. I had a bunch of Nintendo music because I was a, a dork back then. Now, not even a close to a dork, right? Right, right guys? I'm not, right? But I was then, I was then, but not now. But not now, but then I was, right? Boop, 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 boop. One, two, three, four, five. I need seven rounds. I might do, I might do an extra round just because I've recently been noticing that I really like it when these tails are like extra long. So they can curl around stuff even better, but we'll see. Ooh, there we go. Do -do -do. I think what we might end up doing for the propeller hat, if that is the one that gets voted on. Let's see. How's our vote going, by the way? Ooh, it's a close vote. It is a really close vote. We're gonna try to go to 40 votes if possible. There's 50 people watching and we only have 35 votes. So if you're watching and you haven't voted on the hat yet, speak now or forever hold your peace. I still am torn on which one I wanna do though. It is a close race. Um, okay, last round, I think. Oh, actually, no, we've got a few more stitches left and then it's our last round. Okay, now it's our last round. That sounds easy though. Come on. Go. All right, one more. Okay. I'm gonna cut the yarn. I think that's long enough for our tail. And pull it up. Next thing we want to do is add our pipe cleaner in here because, uh, yeah, 
Little dude needs a pipe cleaner. Where did I put the pipe cleaner stuff? The important question for today. Oh, look at this. I already have a pipe cleaner skirt. Oh, never mind. These ones will work better. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to try to use a full pipe cleaner today because I really want it to be very, like, densely wound. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna create a little loop on the end and put our crochet hook in there. I mean, our needle in there like this. And this way it'll help us to spin it. And I really want to get this wound tightly so that we have more of a, like, more control over uh, the curve of our tail. So we're going to really cur curl this around to double up the pipe cleaner density. And we actually might do it twice. We'll see. But the more you curl it, the stronger the pipe cleaner is going to be. And we want it to get at least down to there. There we go. Now jump is asleep on my desk chair. Which honestly I never even use anymore. It's just Jimbo's chair. See, so we want to get at least that high up, and then I'll probably turn it around in a second. Leaf clover, a four-leaf clover with color changes. Or you can make it out of pipe. Cleaners. Oh, interesting. That's an interest. Both of those ideas are interesting. I do have an idea. I think that'll be easier, but we'll see. Also, I don't even know if Propeller Hat's going to win. We're, the vote should be done. Just a second. Okay. We're gonna, oh, by the way, giveaway. Now or never. Uh, enter the giveaway because once we finish the hat, the giveaway, we will, vote, or we will choose a winner of our giveaway randomly. So you, if you want to win are under the C pin, the giveaway is now or never. So I'm trying to like stretch out this a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to fit this in. So I want to go this way. Okay. This is gonna be the hard part because there's different the end there. Come on. So close. Come on, it's so close. There we go. Okay, pipe cleaner is in there. Look at, he's got much sturdier tail now. And now we just need to sew this closed and then we can start working on our hat. One, two, Dude, Cooper is on it, man. I say something and Cooper's like, I got it, buddy. Thank you, Cooper. Okay. Go in. And I don't think we're gonna need to sew this on to the body itself, but just in case, I'll just have it come out right here that and I'll probably just cut it close but let's see if we can't just like wind this boy up like this first because I could like sew it instead but I do want it to have a little bit of a there we go like because you know we could like sew it in like this so that it's curved permanently 
But it's also kind of nice for it to not be curved permanently, because then it, you can wrap it around stuff, but... I don't know. I don't know. It would be like this, and then like that. That's what we would do. I mean, you could put a keychain on him, obviously, but... Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut it. We'll we'll let it we'll let it be so we can change the shape of the tail whenever we want instead of sewing it in a specific position. Okay. That looks painful. <laughs> Probably is. Okay. Let's figure out what kind of hat we're making. Ooh. Propeller hat. Okay. Oh man, that's going to be fun. All right. Next thing we want to do while I'm making the hat is name our seahorse. Okay, now's your chance. Give it a name, okay? It's in the Q&A now. Give our seahorse a name, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna make us a propeller hat and get the yarn prepared. Now, color-wise, I'm thinking blue. For a propeller, um, yellow, which is in the other room, I think. Oh no, you know what? I have, no, 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 it is in the other room. Okay, so let me grab. I need blue, yellow, and I think blue, yellow, pink is a good option for our hat. Where did I put pink yarn? Okay, so we got pink here. Get a blue. Yeah, yellow is in the other room. Okay, I'll be right back. There we go. Okay, so a propeller hat. Okay, so here's how I'm thinking we we're gonna make this work. We'll start with our blue yarn. And I'll make a magic loop. So if you wanna make one of these propeller hats also, um, here's how I'm doing it. I'm gonna start with my blue yarn, making a magic loop. And we're going to do two single crochets in blue. One, two, yeah. Two single crochets in blue, and then we're gonna change to pink and do this. This is the tough part is changing colors. There we go. And then two in pink, and we won't work around this blue because we'll just change back to blue at the end. So two in pink, one, two in pink, oh wait. But before we finish that, we want our yellow. And we'll go two in yellow. Boom. Like this. And like that. Okay. So blue, pink, yellow. Put yellow over and move our pink over. We'll come back to pink in the next round. So yellow for two. One. And uh, actually before, you know what? I'll finish the two for yellow for a second because we're gonna change back to blue in a second. I'm gonna close the magic loop nice and tight. And that'll be how we're gonna do our color changes throughout, you know? Cause it's not gonna have to be very big. Actually just two rounds I think will be big enough. Maybe three, but we'll see. Um, all right, so next we wanna change back to blue. Back over to our blue yarn. Oh, that's the tail end. Oops. There's the blue. It's gonna be a heck of a mess on the inside, but we're not gonna be looking at the inside anyhow, so hmm, who cares? Yellow off to the side, we'll come back to it in a second. And we wanna do, um, we'll go up to nine stitches. So we'll do one, in blue, and then we'll do an increase in blue. One, and then switch to pink. Switch to pink. Two, three, four, five, 
pink yarn over here. It is a tangled mess in here, but that's okay. Like that. And then we'll let the blue hang out and we'll go pink for two or three, one. And do propeller hats have brims? I don't think they do. One and a two. Like it is. Grab a yellow yarn and switch to a yellow. And then we'll do one. I think is, is that big enough? Oh, that's oh my god, that's perfect. Do I don't even think I need to make it any bigger than that? That is like the perfect size for it, right? Especially once we put our propeller on there. It doesn't need to be bigger. He needs like a lollipop in his in his little thing. Now he's like a child. We thought we were, we were making an old man, but really we're making a child, which is hilarious. Um, okay, now we want our blue yarn back we'll change back over to blue that and then i'm just going to do a slip stitch in this last one in blue like so and we'll cut it out i'm going to use all three of these ends for sewing it onto the head so that we don't have it changing colors in a weird like the edges of the stitches being different colors so we'll just pull it through like that and I believe that's all we need to do for this part. Next, we want to make the propeller itself. Now, this is gonna be a little bit complicated. Um, so, the first thing I'm thinking is we need a pin. So I'm thinking just like a red pin through the top like this that goes straight into the head. And then the propellers around the pin so it's like this with the propeller, so that way we can like spin the propeller. And we can just do like a simple, we can even just use paper. Oh, you know what, we'll use that card stock that we used for our, um, our clock. That'll be perfect. Okay, so like this, right? And we'll just draw it out with a pen. Cause I'm thinking, actually let's cut out just a bit of this first. We don't need a very long end. And we should just keep, I'm just gonna keep this over here because I have a feeling we'll use this in future patterns too. Like that and we'll go see so I'm thinking we go actually let's draw it on the bottom I'm thinking we go like if it goes here here doing the actually you know what let's do this go straight in the middle like there So that we have a little spot where the middle is. And then the next one will be, maybe I should measure this a little bit better. So it's like, there. Okay, so that's the length of it. And then we'll go line, line. We'll go out a little bit. Out, 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 and then I'm just gonna go that, that, that. And we'll cut it in like this. Nice, nice, just like that. Okay, now we just need to cut this out. OK, 
Okay. Totally ruining my scissors to do this, but that's all right. Oh, 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 oh I almost messed the whole thing up. That would have sucked. Would have had to made another one. I'm pretty close to messing it up, so I got. I'm gonna do it from the other side. Okay, little tiny propeller. This goes right in the center. Like that. And then this goes in the top of this like this. Huh? What do we think? That's a little propeller hat. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, he needs rosy cheeks. Oh my God, he does need rosy cheeks. Okay, okay, okay. One thing at a time though. Uh, next thing we want to do is just sew this all together. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to double knot these two little ends so that the pink and the yellow don't come apart because we'll be using the blue tail end. So these two can be double knotted. One and it's hard to do because it's just like we're just there's barely any yarn. Like it, this is just so tiny, you know what I mean? Okay, so so tiny for my fat little fingers. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that double knot's there, and we can just—I'll just go ahead and cut these so they're not in our way. Like that, pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this blue. This is going to go straight into the center as our anchor stitch. Augustus Gloop? <laughs> you thought it had four colors? Oh, well, too little too late. <laughs> I've, I've done my deed. Okay, and then I think we should do like this so that you can see all three colors from the front. And these ones will be sewn on differently. So, start with the yellow. We'll go, let's see, like that, right? No, like that, yeah. And then we'll go in through wherever, out through right here, we'll go up through this stitch like that. Let's get everything undone here. Perfect, okay. So yellow, one, and oopsies hold on we can fix this i can fix that there we go boop boop and then we want let's see we'll go one two three I think I'm going to go through this half stitch here because there's just not enough stitches to work with. Through here, and then we'll go up through this next part. There, no. Come on. Don't fight me. He's like, stop poking my head, please. I'm just an old man with a pinwheel hat. I didn't ask for this life. that in and we'll just have this come out through somewhere on the back to sew on there pretty cute oh he's just a little boy in his 40s entering a candy store <laughs> that's funny constant crochet that's exactly what it looks like it's like hey 
How are you kids up? What are you kids up to? We're playing a lot of Roblox recently. Any of you kids like Minecraft? Huh? What? Who's it? One. Yeah, we'll go right here. One, two. Yeah. One. Do it like this. Two. Come out like that. You guys got any Pokemon cards you want to trade? Yeah, he. I think you're right. I think he does need a lollipop in his little curly tail. So we might end up doing that, even though, even though we already are so extra with this guy. But you know what? A little extra goes a long way. Really, hats hats are what do, do it. That's what that's what really takes these pieces to the next level, in my opinion. Okay, like that. Oh my god, he looks so so dorky. I, you know, I was I was iffy about the idea of doing a propeller hat, but I am very much coming around to the idea. Okay, so this part's gonna be a little different. So we got one, two, three, like that. And then, you know, we'll go one, two, like this. That one goes up through here. This one through here. Yeah. Like that. This one to this stitch. Then I'm gonna do one more through where we first did it to kind of sew this back end a little bit better. It's just a little bit of a mess in the back. The front looks absolutely perfect though. It's just this back stitch that I really wanna fix. That in and then out through the here. Okay, so here's what we got to work with now is pull it tighter. Okay, so we'll double knot these two together and cut close, and then we'll double knot the other two together, cut close, and then we can do a vote for the name. And while you're voting on the name, let's not use these scissors because they're dull as heck. While you're voting on the name, we will make a lollipop for him because he needs a lollipop. Executive decision says, little boy needs a lollipop. Stuff those knots back in. That one back in. Pretty good. Okay, moment of truth. Propeller in the top oh my <laughs> absolute god wow look at that it even works wow what a little cutie patootie he looks so dumb i love him so much all right let's get a vote going for the name and then we'll make the the end part okay so our name interesting okay I like this. Oh, that's a good one too. Honestly, you guys are you guys are perfectly on point with these names. Oh, what a good name, Jolie. Jolie. What a perfect name that is. I love that. And then
Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, we got our name choices here. choices are in the chat now your votes are between seymour seymour the seahorse i mean come on he totally looks like a seymour to me franklin again franklin the seahorse look at this little hat he's it's such a perfect name winnie now winnie is just clever because he's like is like a horse you know winnie very good it sounds like a little kid perfect name and then let's throw a little little wild card in there sophie the seahorse also very cute, uh, and I love the name Sophie. I've got a soon uh, a, a niece named Sophie. Technically, she's not my niece yet, but once Jules and I get married, then Sophie is my niece, and uh, I love Sophie. She's the best. Okay, we need to make a lollipop now, and I'm wondering how we should do a lollipop. You know what? Let's do it like a like a pink and let's, let's look up lollipops. Let's look up what lollipops look like. That might help me. Mm, yeah, they're usually like a rainbow of colors. Okay, maybe I actually do have a rainbow yarn that we can use. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with our rainbow yarn. We, we're almost out of it, but I think this is a good idea for our, for it, for lollipop. Um, by the way, I'm voting. Wow. The one I voted for is not getting the votes. Not getting the votes I thought it would. Two. I think I'm just going to do... Four. Yeah, we'll do four... We'll do four here. And then I'm gonna work into the back loops only so that it creates like a little line. And we're gonna just do an, let's just do an increase into each. Hopefully this doesn't get too big, too fast. Cause I wanna do at least one more round. He's gonna have a, he might have a very large lollipop. We're gonna see. We'll see how it goes. But I actually do think this system that I'm doing here will probably work pretty well. Let's see, one and two, and then the last two right here. One, two there. And then we'll go up again, we'll go one, Do we want to do it even bigger? That's a pretty good size. Yeah, we'll just do we'll just do single crochets. And then when we come back around it, I might do two of these and sew them together, but I kind of feel like we don't need to do it like that. I think instead all we need to do is just go around. Uh, but it might like make it weird. Maybe it would be better with two of these. Hmm. 
The hard part with this rainbow yarn is that it never gets the colors I want it to at the right spots. It kind of just gets a little mucky after a while, which is can be a little frustrating, you know what I mean? If I did two of these, no, then it'd be too fat. I need to do increases. Okay, so we need to go one, two. So we'll go. One, two. Okay, the last round was nine. No, the last round was eight. So we want to go up from eight to. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll do increases. Two, three, four, six. Make it the body of your Zelda fairy. What do you mean? Oh, just like a little, oh, like a lollipop lollipop. Like just a little, oh, actually that's a pretty good idea too. Let, let's see how this works. And if this doesn't look the way I want it to, I think you're right. That's just way easier. So it's like a legit, like a lollipop lollipop. I, I think, I get what you're saying. That's probably a better idea. It's a gigantinormous lollipop. <laughs> Actually, that would be really cute. And one. Yeah, okay. And then I'll just slip stitch here like that. And then we'll get a long end here. We are basically out of this rainbow yarn. Pull it through. I think my I think I have some extra rainbow yarn somewhere though. But it's not that big of a deal. And then what I think what we can do here is once I get my hair out of there, because I don't know why it got in there, but whatever, is we'll just take this and we'll go around all the front loops start here this might be a little tedious but I think it'll add a, a lot of um, I think it'll add a good energy to this lollipop so if we just go like this and then we go like this all the way around through all the front loops it'll accentuate our twirl and might add some good color to the bottom half of our twirl. It probably would be best to do two of these and sew them together, but who got time for that? Bye, I crochet. Uh, don't worry, I will let you know if you win. You want me to give it to someone else though? All right. No, I'll let you know. And if you really don't want it, after if you win and I let you know, I'll, I'll I'll give you the option to give it to someone else. And then, if that's the case, I'll let them run her up. No. Yeah, this is good. It might have been best instead of using this rainbow yarn to use like a. Um, like for the lines here, it might have been best to use like a different color so that it really pops, but whatever. I think this will look pretty cute. about halfway. Hey, also don't forget to like this video if you haven't yet. Um, We're trying to get 200 likes. Let's see, where are we at with likes? We are not at 200, but if you wanna like this video, we're trying to get to 200, and if we do get to 200, I'll do another giveaway next week. And uh, next week's giveaway will be bigger than this week's. So it'll be incremental. I think that's the right word. 
so that it gets bigger each time. I think that's incremental. But I don't know. I don't know words good like. Let's see how this looks. If we don't like this, we'll do a pink. Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to do a pink one anyhow. Uh, that's just a ball, just so we can see the difference and see which one we really like more than. And and then maybe we can vote on that if too. A lot of votes today, but I like that. I like it when we have a lot of votes. It feels much more collaborative. Okay. See, so I'm thinking like that, with a big stick on it. Is my it's my thought. Inside like this, and then for the stick, I was gonna do two of these sewn together, but I just don't want to. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna go ahead and start going like this. Boop, like that. We can go above it. Just realize we don't really need to sew this on because I can just hide this end into the back of a bunch of loops. And that'll suffice. Just double knot these two ends together, and that's our lollipop. Oh, Cooper's going to bed. Oh, good. No, he's not. Okay. Oh, good night, Tina. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Hi, Jimbo. Jimbo says good night, Tina. Okay. So like this, and then we'll go like we want it like this, right? Let's see, let's see how tightly I can wind this around. It. Really holding on to it. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right through one of these stitches. So I keep it like that. So, he, so it looks like he's holding on to it a little bit tighter. And then we'll cut it. Uh, I need something strong. I need stronger scissors for this. I know. You're cute. I love you, buddy. Hi. Yes, you're very cute. We'll just use our pliers for this part. We want it like cut right here. We'll clean this up. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. I I really like that actually a lot. It looks pretty much perfect. How do you guys feel? Yeah, how do you feel about this, Jimbo? Do you like it? I think he's pretty awesome. <laughs> he's not gonna be able to sit up on his own very well, but as far as like a goober. He's, he's pretty cute. What do we think? And then his head thing twirls. Okay, I love it. Let's go ahead and see what our new seahorse's name is and then choose the winner of our giveaway. Our seahorse's name is... Seymour! Seymour the seahorse. It's too perfect. The alliteration. You just can't beat a good alliteration. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, Jules is gonna think this is so funny. 
I love it. Oh my god, and his little... It's so cute! Oh my gosh. Okay, let's find out who won our... I just wish there was a way to keep him standing. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I, don't, I honestly, I don't know how to make him stand up on his own. But he's so cute. Okay, let's choose a winner for giveaway. At random. Ooh, we got a lot of people. All right. 75. All right. Random. Later. Okay, we have a winner. Yeah, we do. We have a winner. And our winner today. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, the winner of our giveaway this is gonna be this is our giveaway by the way we're giving away a little tiny pin from our newest seasonal crochet kit and the winner of our kit their favorite fish is a manta ray today their the favorite thing that happened today is that they were sitting in a cafe with friends and crocheting that's right our winner is huey i think it's huey H U Y Hooey! Hooray for Hooey! <laughs> uh, Huey, hey Jimbo! No, get the, get out of here! Stop it! Jimbo's eating, eating the sound cord, so I hope you can still hear me. Huey, H U Y! I think they're still here as well, because they were number twenty-six in the giveaway in the giveaway, or 66 rather, so they were one of the last people to, stop biting that. Well, they were one of the last people to win. Uh, congratulations, Huey. H, by the way, it's H-U-Y. I hope you're in the chat. If not, no worries at all. I'm gonna email you and I'll let you know and I'll send you our new pin. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations. And thank you guys so much for all the suggestions in today's uh, live stream. This guy came out crazy cute, very unique. I've never crocheted anything like this before. I love the pinwheel hat. Thank you for the suggestions. I love his lollipop and the eyebrows. Honestly, Seymour is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I absolutely love him. Maybe we'll put a keychain on him right here. That might be good. Oh my gosh, he's so cute, though. Wow. All right, let's go see what Jules thinks of him. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching again. Uh, I'll see you next week. Uh, same time, same place. So Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Next week, we're going to be making... I think it's next week. Let me look at my, let me look at my list real quick. Yes, okay, so next week we're gonna be making two new whales. Um, one of them will be available in the in the library. The other one is gonna be a little bit early, but we're gonna be making an orca and a dolphin, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here, same time, same place. Uh, so I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to like this video before you, before you leave so that we can try to get to 200 likes before the next live stream and do another giveaway. And yeah, pasta la pizza. Happy hooking and <laughs> oh my god, stop! You hang up. <laughs> no, oh my god, Jimbo, you hang up first. Jimbo, hang up, hang up. You gotta hang up, buddy. Don't eat all those cords, and instead, you gotta hang up. Yes, no, 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 you got to hang up. Yes, you do. Hang up first. We can't just let stop eating the cords. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. No more eating the quartz. Yeah, you can chew on my face. That's much better. Wow, great. Thank you. Oh, yeah, whale in the bowl. Oh my god, thank you for reminding me, Sarah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bloop. This is for you, Cooper. Thank you for your donation today. Add it to the bowl. And also, Cat. 
Cat. Okay, bye.